Are you looking for a break from the ravages of winter? Maybe wishing for produce straight from your garden? Did you know that you can grow green onions from kitchen scraps right in your kitchen window? Hello, this is Stephen from ShortSeasonGarden.com and I offer tips and tricks for gardening in any climate, but especially for short seasons like here in Zone 3 in Eastern Canada. So give my video a thumbs up and a comment, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, check me out on Facebook or Instagram at Short Season Garden, or you can go to my website at www.shortseasongarden.com. To grow green onions from kitchen scraps, simply save the bottom inch or so of each onion plant and place it in water. Normally you would only use the bulb with the root still attached, but out of curiosity, I decided to save a short piece of each stem and also added them to the water. Both the root pieces and the stem pieces immediately began to show growth and continued to grow daily, although the root pieces obviously were outgrowing the stems. On day four, I carefully placed both the stem pieces and the root pieces in damp potting soil in two separate pots, using the handle of a screwdriver to make planting holes. I added soil around the pieces right up to the fresh growth and watered them well. I honestly didn't expect the stem pieces to survive in the soil, but they continued to grow incrementally while the root pieces totally took off. Each day I carefully watered the onions and each day they grew. If you work a day job in Zone 3 in January, unfortunately it's hard to get daylight pictures on a work day, but you can see that the plants were growing vigorously. The onions started from stem pieces really look strange as the new growth stretches out of the old stem, but they were definitely growing. If you harvest individual scallion pieces from different plants, you can continue the harvest indefinitely. For more fun growing from food scraps, try romaine lettuce, celery, or even pineapple. Just don't plan on harvesting your pineapples this year. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video.